bitches be undressing. May we gon' be late again, but that's just Kevin. Up down. Up down. Up down. Up down. Up down. All right, straight ahead, we'll get to this lightweight bout between Dustin the Diamond Porian and Justin Gaethje. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Both fighters 29 years of age. Poirier will have a one-inch reach advantage. Here once more is first buffer. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go. Punch coming, it's blocked. Poirier strike attempt there is blocked. Straight right, he misses. Nice left hook to the body. Punches block. Kick lands for him there. He ch he's checking every single one of those. Poirier gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Trying to establish that jab once again. They have started this fight off with a brawl. Nice knee. Slightly deflected, and he connects with the punch there. That one hurt. Shows him the left and then follows it up with the right. Nice one-two punch there by Poirier. Punches in bunches, timing perfect. You better play better defense than that. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Gaethje. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Moves to half guard. Poirier on top. Nice. Goes upstairs for an elbow. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Hard elbow. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Trying to get to side control here. Cannot pass. On top in half guard. Strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Gaethje. Splits the guard and connects with the punch. Nice sweep. Now he's in half guard. And there he's free. Good control, postures up. Fighters back to their feet here. Well, he gets cracked to the head there, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's almost moving into the strike at this point in time. You gotta get that head off the center line. Oh, beautiful, beautiful kick to the body. Slips the punch. Nice shot. Cut to the head, but it's blocked there by Gage. And again. And he goes for the knee strike now, Joe. It's good. Nice straight right, Lance. Look at this. 
try to establish that jab. He's fainting with the punch. Caught him with a punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. He's really starting to connect, Joe, on a lot of these strikes tonight. Oh! Oh! He hurt him! He is clearly in big, big trouble. Oh, he might be out. Takedown. Big body shot. shot. Body. Guillotine. One arm guillotine here. This came to guillotine. Poirier gets back up again. Tagged him. And he lands a very nice combination. Gingerly, he makes his way back to the stool, and he's only got 60 seconds to recover here, so we'll see if his corner physically, mentally... this round, you got to think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's going to want to move and avoid taking damage early. How about that chin? Oh, he landed a huge up there. there. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Beautiful Ooh. timing with the left hand. Oh, very nice. Really missed with that right hand. Nice left, left kick to the body. They continue to exchange. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see if he can change it. Oh, oh. Uppercut that got him the win. Yeah, Joe, beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Let's take a look at that again. Check it out here. The official decision is. 